We're back in the cellar again. I don't know how it happens. I just keep on finding myself in this place. I'm Jerry Greenfield, the Wine Whisperer. When I teach my classes, one of the things I try to do is to give people the tools to get some sort of a wild guess about what might be in a bottle of wine that they've never seen before. You go to a wine, you go to a, a wine shop or the supermarket, or you take a look at a wine list in a restaurant, and it says Vaquera. Well, what does that mean? Or it says Sauvignon Blanc. Well, what is that supposed to taste like? Um, a wine writer that I admire very much, Andrea Emma Robinson, talks about a thing called the three G's, and I think this is a really good idea. If you want to know something about a wine, think about the three G's. The grape, the ground, and the guy or the gal. The grape, every grape, grapes are like apples. There's some, ap there's some apples that are good for sauce, some apples that are good for pies, some apples that are good for juice, some apples that are good for eating. Grapes are the same way. Cabernet Sauvignon tastes one way, Sauvignon Blanc tastes another way. So if you know what the grape is and you know what the flavor characteristics of the grape is, then, then you're like a third of the way home. The second thing is the ground. Where does it come from? Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand doesn't necessarily taste like Sauvignon Blanc from California. So if you know where the wine comes from, that's going to be a big help. And the third thing is the guy or the gal. Who makes it? You will find, as you, as you sample widely, which I hope you do, that the different producers make wines in different styles. You can give two winemakers the same grapes from the same vineyard, and you'll come up with two completely different wines because they each have their own style. So remember the three G's. Think about the grape, the ground, and the guy or the gal who makes it, and you'll be way ahead of the game. I'm Jerry Greenfield. I'm the Wine Whisperer, and here's to you.